have to confess that we didn't really use the native MQTT um, protocol of this controller, as if we did use the REST interface that they also supply, um, because it's more uh, has more information, uh, and we're using a stream sheet to actually build a gateway between the REST calls to the hardware device and the MQTT that we're sending to our other stream sheet that we had before. So I'll show you how I did that. Of course, I did that before. Um, and now we can see that I'm creating, again, using our function wizard, I'm creating a REST request function. And the REST request function is not really complicated. You have to know the URL that you want to call. Maybe you also need a username or a password. Uh, and then you can use the request function to um, also specify what kind of method you want to use, usually it's a GET one, and that you want to receive the data in the inbox. So if we uh, see this again, we have a formula in our uh, edit bar, and now if we run this, you can see it's receiving the data, it's pulling it from the REST interface, it's going into the inbox, and you can now browse through the data model. You see it's a very rich model, to use the drag and drop operation again, to link certain uh, key value pairs, with the corresponding cells on the uh, stream sheet. Uh, and so we're just using the most important one, and you know this structure because we had it in our previous demo. So the is on and off, the power consumption, the temperature. Um, so that's basically uh, the raw data, and we're now converting that to a JSON range here on our stream sheet. And you can see, again, it's a key value pair thing. Um, so we define this payload, and then we have a chance to structure the data and then we link the value fields of the JSON, simply link it to the other uh, formulas that we got through the REST uh, call. So it's a very easy, very straightforward procedure. Of course, you could do all kinds of conversions and whatever you want to do. It's very, very flexible, goes very fast. And again, that's not surprising. We're again using our um, function wizard. In the function wizard, we're using MQTT building a publish function, we've done that before. Now we can see how this works. On the one side you have the REST requests going back and forth, uh, and on the other side you have the stream sheet which is pushing the data to the MQTT broker. So that's basically it. Thank you very much.